Scoochy scooch. Oh, I'm too weak to move the couch. <laughs> oh, fix that situation. Welcome, my loves, to Design Chicken Chicken. Thank you for coming back today. It was nice to see you yesterday. <laughs> Thank you for not abandoning me. Yesterday, we voted on four uh, design matchups. So if you missed that video, go back on my, my canal and see the last video to vote. We're working in the top left half of this bracket. Check it out. Super cool. Uh, if you want to check out all the brackets, hit the link below or go to milanote.com slash DCC. Today, we're going to be continuing on the left side of the bracket, starting with Johann Schnechter and uh, Rachel Eckert. If you want to build a snowman and ride our bikes around the hall, let's hop into the round of 64 brief for a quick recap reminder. Our designers are currently in the beautiful city of Kyoto, Japan. I've never been there. I'm available for invitations. Uh, I'm a horrible house guest. I'm sorry. I usually steal all of the pillows. There's a new seafood restaurant called Sakana Tengoku. So they have to make a logo for the new restaurant. And there's gonna be a big salmon eating competition as the opening for the restaurant. Uh, so they had to make a flyer about that. So if you wanna check out more of the design brief for that, then hit up the board, you'll find it. Okay, so without any further hesitation, we're gonna hop into the matchups for today. So don't forget to vote in the polls up above. So cool. And remember, our participants are vying for a prize pool of $1,000 provided to us very kindly by our homies at Milano. Here's the deal, Steven Spielberg, Johan, Pretty Thin, Schnetker is taking on Rachel Chicken Coop Eckhart. So let's hop into what Johan made. Uh, here is his logo. And here is his flyer. Ooh, that's a fish. It's like an aquarium. Johan says, my goal was to find a balance between the flyer being quickly understandable, but kind of borking, and having flashy design that grabs attention. I think this checks both of these boxes and balances it out. Uh, Johan, I don't know what borking means, but uh, pretty cool designs nonetheless. Okay, I'm, I'm really interested to see how all of our designers will display like how to sign up for the tournament or how to join it. So uh, he, Johan is the first to say sign up in the restaurant. Very interesting. In the blue corner, let's check out Johan's opponent, Rachel Eckert. Here is Rachel's uh, logo. And here is her flyer. Ooh, this reminds me of like a board game from the 70s or 80s. I, I forgot the board game, but it has like these hands, uh, but let's listen to what Rachel said. My inspiration was the idea that Sakana Tengoku is more than just yummy food. The brief, it mentions community vibes and so many events they will do, playing with the saying, plenty of fish in the sea, to suggest heaps of food and place to meet people. So my flyer, it's an abstract bird's eye view of a table filled with food and hands picking and sharing all the yumminess. <laughs> the logo is playful, uh, take on Bible's block lettering in reference to the translation of Sakana Tengoku, fish heaven, as these might be letterings used in fish heaven's Bible. Oh, that could be really interesting. Imagine if the uh, the menu was kind of uh, like a like a religion started by fish. Here is uh, Johan Pretty Thins versus Rachel Chicken Coops designs. Vote in the poll right now, guys. Uh, who you think did a little better job? But. Congratulations to both our participants. Really good job getting the first uh, round of 64 done. Next up, we have Bruno, the storyteller, Boyka, going up against Malo, Gravity Boy, Widerspock. All right, let's take a look at Bruno's designs. Here is his logo. Interesting, very interesting. And here is his flyer. Okay. And here's what Bruno had to say. With inspiration from vintage Japanese postcards, my concept was mixing the old looking textures and strokes with a modern typography. The logo works either only as an icon, abstraction of a shrimp, okay, just the typography or either both. I wanted to give the client freedom to choose and versatility. As for the flyer, the colors and textures follow the same thought process, complementing the restaurant's identity. And let's take a look at Bruno's opponent, Malo, in the top right hand of our map. 
Uh, here is his logo. Ooh, wow, very colorful. And here is the flyer. Oh, this feels very edgy. <laughs> and here's what Malo had to say. For the logo, an iridescent shiny fish. Very straight lines, very rigid, inspired by Japanese art. I color picked the tints on the image of an iridescent fish. Nature is so creative. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really interesting. These colors are currently very trendy and they also represent open-mindedness and diversity. The award-winning chef has previous experience in Europe. He's referring to, um, the chef who's opening the restaurant started some other Japanese seafood restaurants in Europe before. I have chosen the Monument Extended font, a trendy grotesque font in which I find a bit of an Asian style. Okay, my friends, here is Bruno and Malo's designs. Which do you prefer? Have your say right now. Phone in 1-800-DESIGN-CHIMPKIN. Uh, or, or easier, you could just vote in the poll right now. <laughs> do you prefer Bruno or Malo? Thanks, guys. For the next round, we have a walkover. It is Victor Businessman Ritzval versus Katarina Krashtapup. There was no response. So unfortunately, we don't get the blessing of seeing what uh, Katarina's designs would have been. But nevertheless, let's look at uh, what Victor did. So here is his logo. Out of all the logos we've seen so far, this one feels the most uh, artsy. And here is Victor's poster design. And here's what Victor had to say. My idea with this design was to make a clean and simple but effective flyer design. The logo is a bit Japanese inspired and there is two fishes hidden in the S. S is negative space. I have made everything from scratch. The salmon pieces are made in Illustrator. Oh, okay, let's see about the fish. Oh yeah! Look, there's a fish head in the top right of the S and a fish head in the bottom left. And then I guess those red parts on the S would be like the, the, the fins of the fish. Oh, that's so clever. I really like the logo. Good work, Victor, and congratulations on your win. <laughs> we got our man's Charlie, the everyday hero, Ainsworth, taking on Sam Mixed Media Pates. His name is not Mixed Media because he uses Mixed Media. It's another reason, very secretive. Maybe you'll learn later, maybe. <laughs> Okay, let's start off with Charlie's design. Here is his logo design. He has a word mark and an icon as well. And here is his flyer design. Very cool. Um, Charlie says, I wanted to give Sakana Tengoku a modern and approachable identity whilst integrating a Japanese aesthetic. The icon uses the two Ks from the word mark and creates a uniformed and professional approach, which I felt was needed in mind of the award-winning chef at the restaurant. Uh, I just want to say something about most of the contestants today. I told them they could write one or two sentences, but everybody's written like eight or nine sentences. Sometimes I let it go, but sometimes I just like cut off what they said because it's just way too much. Okay, good work, Charlie. Let's hop into Charlie's opponent, Sam's work. Here is Sam's logo. Pretty fun, cute, and here is the flyer design he's made. Awesome. Most of the time went into the logo to get a feel for the brand. I probably had 10 totally different designs and I ended up taking the one that made me smile the most. Ah, because it said in the brief to create a fun and approachable design. After that, I got the idea to use the logo as part of the whole flyer design because it looks fun and this way people will take the flyer not only because of the information, but also because of the bright color and the happy design. Here is Charlie and Sam's work side by side. Vote in the poll right now, my Copic Markers, whether you prefer Charlie's design or Sam's design. Let's hop into our fifth and final matchup. This is between Kevin, Rap God Earl, versus Frederick, Sour Patch, Flock. Okay, let's start with Kevin Rap God's designs. Here is his logo, and here is his flyer design. Super dope boy fresh. And here's what Kevin had to say about it. I wanted to keep this logo modern but playful, so I created a bone fish using the Japanese character, which is the heaven character from the restaurant name. I didn't want to overwhelm the poster with words, so I included the basic information and a link to the website. The header of the poster hopefully means grand opening, <laughs> while the text in the circle translate to fish eating contest. Nice. I actually cut out some information from his as well because it was very long. Really good work, Kevin. Let's see what your opponent had to do. Frederick Sour Patch. Here is his logo. Oh. 
This is pretty interesting. And here is his flyer. And uh, Frederick had to say, My main inspiration were seals and stamps from East Asian culture. They work as signatures and are usually in shape of a circle, square, or a rectangle. I discovered that a rectangular shape could easily be transformed into a knife, a symbol for chefs and Asian blacksmithing. The blue lines on the blade are inspired by the texture of salmon fillets, symbolizing seafood by the color, and they refer to a Damascus kiretsuke knife. I switched the color of the knife from a classic red to a soft salmon tone to intensify the seafood theme. I gotta be honest, guys, I don't, I don't understand most of these things. <laughs> oh no. So here we have Sour Patch taking on Rap God. Kevin versus Frederick. Let me know in the poll right now. Who do you think did a better, uh, better job on the project? So voting for each video will be uh, quantified at the end of three days so you still have time to go back to the previous video and give your vote and it will absolutely count all right design champions so on our million note bracket here we've made it through the top half of the first round of 64. yeah this is going well and don't forget to show some love to our australian homies making big moves with milano over up over in melbourne australia what it do represent <laughs> yeah go check it out leave some love and encouragement and go follow some of your uh, favorite designers that you've seen on dcc so far all right that's it from me i'll see you tomorrow morning continuing the round of 64. have your say as to who will be crowned the chick King for the biggest and greatest international design tournament of all time. You know what? That might actually be true, but it sounds very dramatic, so it's probably not true. Okay, design champs, have a glorious day. I'll see you later, alligator, and stay awesome. Pup awesome. Bye, guys.